if there was ever a sign that the Trump Russia scandal was getting even more serious, it is that Donald Trump is personally lawyering up. Donald Trump has now personally retained a lawyer, Mark Kasowitz, to represent him directly in the various investigations that are going on related to Russian interference and or collusion in the 2016 election. Kasowitz has known Trump for decades, has represented Donald Trump in the past. The White House was asked about this reported hire and had no comment. Who do you call for this, right? I mean, how many attorneys are experienced in defending presidents from allegations of colluding with foreign non friendly nations to seize the White House? I get that the point of hiring Mark Kasowitz is that he's worked with Trump for a long time. It's not like when you're charged with, I don't know, drinking and driving and there's attorneys who have handled hundreds and hundreds of drinking and driving cases. This is a very, very niche area. And I think really, Pat, this is more about Trump knows this guy and presumably trusts this guy rather than this guy's an expert in this type of thing. It's hard to become an expert on this type of thing unless you also worked with Nixon and Clinton, yeah. <laughs> I guess. But I think just the fact that Trump is lawyering up doesn't necessarily mean he's guilty. Even no. if you're innocent, you'd want a lawyer. It tells us that the fireworks could only just be beginning. So the important thing is that there is this office of the White House counsel. When things start getting difficult, presidents will go outside to get personal attorneys. Bill Clinton did this, as Pat mentioned, Nixon, Clinton. Clinton was impeached, as you may recall not removed from office as a result of that impeachment. And he had a personal lawyer. As always with Trump, there is either a double standard or a conflict of interest not far from the story. And that's the case here. Uh, as reported by Rachel Maddow last night, Donald Trump's lawyer. I mean, it, it's I, you know where I'm going with this, Pat. Yeah. Donald Trump's lawyer that he is retaining to help him with the Trump Russia scandal, Mark Kasowitz, is himself connected to Russia. Mark Kasowitz was recently named a lead attorney in a federal civil lawsuit against Sberbank, which is a bank that is majority owned by none other than the Russian government. He hired a lawyer who is connected to Russia to defend him against allegations, potential allegations, potentially criminal allegations of collusion with Russia. And until a few hours ago, it was reported that a possible replacement for FBI director James Comey would be Joe Lieberman. And initially they thought there would be some bipartisan support there because Lieberman was a longtime Democrat, of course, ran with Al Gore in 2000, and that maybe he would get Republican support as well because he supported the Iraq war and he endorsed John McCain in 2008. But if you get this, Joe Lieberman worked at the same law firm as Trump's lawyer. So there would be a clear conflict of interest. And I think that was just a bridge too far. Can you imagine if you've got Trump being defended against uh, in, within the context of the FBI's Trump Russia investigation? And then you've got a guy from the exact same law firm as his attorney, at least somewhat involved in that investigation, along with uh, prosecutor, special prosecutor Robert Mueller, not going to happen. And I think we're back to the drawing board. Trump last week was saying any day now, I'm going to tell you who the FBI, the new FBI director is going to be. Yeah. And now reportedly, are, are they completely back to the drawing board on that? Well, it's not going to be Texas Senator John Cornyn. It's going to be not going to be Joe Lieberman. So, yeah, they've hit the reset button on that one. Yeah. Yet another. And this is a trend we've seen with Trump just taking forever to hire people that need to be hired for open positions. And this is at the highest levels and also you know, hundreds and thousands of people at lower levels of government. Just a very, very strange thing. Just the logistics of the White House are just as bad as the optics of the White House. Today's program is made possible in part by Tagadab, the hosting specialist. Tagadab offers a range of affordable and flexible hosting packages, including dedicated virtual private servers and cloud server options, as well as custom server solutions and co-location services. They're really proud of their team of expert hosting specialists who also happen to make up their friendly support team. And they do give their customers full access to their knowledge and service. And with a growing number of people interested in moving their businesses and projects to the cloud, Tagadab are currently offering a 10 British pound free credit to all new customers signing up to give you a chance to try the service. You can take advantage of this offer by going to signup.tagadab.com slash TDPS. Support our program by supporting our sponsors.